Okay, let's take a look at the final challenge in the Code Monkey Jr. Advanced Loops course. So, our first job is to get that banana. And then, see if we can figure out where our loop goes. I can see here some repeating. But we might need to get the monkey, oh, I see there are two forwards here. So maybe we need to get the monkey right here to make it match. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, two, and then straight up to get the banana. Then I'm gonna come back one. And then I think I'm gonna do my loop from there. So I'm gonna run this to test it, to make sure it works the way I expect. And also to give myself a chance to look at what's next. So I think what will be my repeating sequence, what will go on my loop will be go forward one. Oh no, look at that. I need the monkey to go forward two. Here he only goes forward one. So really, I just need to get to that banana. I never would have noticed that had I not tested this. Because um, this loop is hard to see. It's, it's challenging to see what repeats. Because here, even, we're jumping up one. So let's take a look. So now let's look. If we go forward one, two, and then jump up, and then forward one, two, and then jump up. See that? Forward one, two, and then jump up. But that's a tricky um, pattern to notice because this doesn't look the same. But we're using the same blocks. Go forward two, and then we jump up onto that block. So I could see that this looked the same. Jump up, go forward, go forward, jump up, go forward, go forward. But I didn't notice right away that I could actually start with my go forwards over here. And you might not have. You might have gotten um, one star or two stars, and you might be looking for how to get shorter code. And I, I think this might be the way. So let's try it. we completed the advanced loop section. So see here, um, this has a house instead of a go forward. Now, if you're here, you should have finished all the advanced sequencing and all the advanced loops. So that means you're actually ready to click up here and go to your next course, which would be conditional loops. And you're gonna learn something new. Remember, when you start a new course, you're gonna watch that video first.